Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build equations. Let's get started. I'm using a blank Word document here, so if you'd like to follow along, open up a blank Word document. First I'll show you how to enter in a built-in equation, and then I'm going to show you how to build your own. Let's get started. Go to the Insert tab. On the Insert tab, on the right side you'll see the Symbols group, and then you'll see the Pi symbol with the equation arrow below it. I recommend using the equation arrow. This is where you can add common mathematical equations to your document, and so if we click this arrow, you're going to see all of the built-in equations here. Alright, first we're going to enter in the Pythagorean Theorem, which is this one right here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I click on it and it enters it in automatically. Keep in mind any of these values can be easily edited by clicking on them and typing in um, any uh, number or value that you'd like. But remember, if you just type it in, it'll add it right after, so rather you have to press backspace and then you have your option to add in your original number. I'm going to leave that alone and return it back to how it was, and now I'm going to show you how to deselect an equation. So right after I uh, finish my equation to deselect it I click after it and so I click right there and now it looks like any other piece of text in Microsoft Word. Alright I'm gonna press enter to go down to the next line and on the next line I'm gonna insert a blank equation. On this one I'm gonna go to the insert tab, the symbols group and you can either click the pi arrow to insert a blank equation or sorry the pi symbol to insert a blank equation or you can click on the equation arrow and go down here to insert new equation. They do the same thing. This time it'll say type your equation here. And on this field I'm going to start with the parentheses and type P minus 3, close the parentheses, and then type an asterisk. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the fraction gallery and show you how to add in a stacked fraction. So notice that when we type an equation, a brand new tab appears up here at the top, which is the Equation Tools Design tab. And in here, we have the Tools, Symbols, and Structures group. This is where you can add in all types of different um, symbols into your Word document. So for fractions, I'm going to choose this one right here and then I have a list of different ways that fractions can be added in. They have blank fractions up here at the top where you can type in the values and then they have common fractions below for popular equations. I'm going to choose this first one right here, stacked fraction. I type that in, or rather I click on it for it to be entered, and these little boxes, again this is where I can enter in my custom data. Alright, so right here at the top box I'm going to put the letter B as in boy, and then in the bottom box I'm going to enter in the number 3. Let's say that this is an equation that you want to use often. If this is an equation that you want to use often, you may want to put it into linear form, so that's a little bit easier to read. So let's go to the Equation Tools Design tab, Tools group, and you'll see linear is right here. Converts the selection to a one-dimensional form for easy editing. So I click that, and you'll see what that does to the fraction. Alright, and so there we go it's now in linear form and now I'm going to show you how to save it for uh, the future and so if I know that I use this equation regularly I can click on the equation options dialog box right down here the first option you're going to see is save as new equation I click on that that's going to open up create new building block a building block is where you can save something for later okay this could be an object things like a picture a chart or even an equation like this one. And I'm going to name this additional people cost. This could be something for uh, a company where if they hire another person then they can add in the information here and get the cost of that person. Alright, additional people cost is right there. I'll click OK. I'll click after the fraction or sorry, after the equation to deselect it and I'll press enter and let's say that I wanted to insert that equation. I could go to the Insert tab, Symbols group, click the Equation arrow, and remember this built-in area from the beginning of this uh, video. You can now see that at the very bottom there's a new tab that says General, and now we could quickly add in the equation that we used before. So anytime that you have an equation that you want to use multiple times, or just something that you use often, 
Well, you can add it into that general section, again by saving the equation as a building block. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about how to insert in equations into Microsoft Word. Um, if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. If this video was helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.